We are going to create a simple green screen template and what I'm going to show you applies to Darkroom Pro Edition, Darkroom Assembly Edition, and also Darkroom Core Edition from versions 9.0 onwards. Prior to 9.0, Darkroom Core did not have green screen controls. So I'm going to start up Darkroom, go to the Setup tab, choose Templates, Borders, and now we're going to create a new group. We could actually add it to an existing group, but um, let's create a group and we'll call it My Borders. Inside My Borders, we're going to create a new border. Now the name that we use here is what will show up later on when we go to use the border. So I'm going to call this blue pink and I want to set the page size to the appropriate output size. Um, horizontal if I'm doing a landscape image, vertical if I'm doing a portrait, which is what I'm doing here. And you should make sure that the resolution here um, is appropriate to your output device. For my printer it's 334 pixels per inch. So once I click OK I have a blank background and the first thing I'm going to do is add a graphic. And I'm just going to browse and I'm going to go to my pictures where I have created a couple of different background graphics. And you can use different um, types of files. They don't even have to be photos. They could be graphic images like I'm using here. Now once I've added that image, it's a little bit large, takes a moment. Um, you'll notice here it doesn't fill the entire page. So I can easily fix that by going fill entire page. And now I'm going to add a photo on top of that, and I'm going to choose a chroma key, green screen or blue screen background. Insert my image, and I'm done at this point. Um, if you wanted to, you could add other elements, other graphic elements. Um, if you have transparency, you can actually have graphic elements that are see-through. You can add text, so forth and so on. And we are going to save this as a new border. And it's recommended that you save your borders to the X drive in your templates borders directory. That will make them easy to find later. Um, this will actually create two files, a CRD and an EDP file that will be needed later on to actually use the green screen template. One last thing while we're on this page. Um, if you want to use your borders immediately, it's a good idea to set them as the default. This will mean that when we go to our photo workshop, um, this will be the first group of borders that will show. So here's a green screen image. I'm going to hit the letter B to apply a border, where you could do it up here. And because this is set as my default set of borders, up comes my borders. Click on it. Click OK. And there is my beautiful green screen border.